Our objective in this lesson is to solve problems involving compound interest. In our previous lessons, we have learned these terms. Now, let us talk about annual compound interest and maturity value. Maturity value is given by the formula F is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus R raised to T, where P is the principal or present value, F is the maturity or future value at the end of the term, R is the interest rate expressed in decimal, and T is the term or time in years. The compound interest I sub C is given by the formula I sub C is equal to F minus P. First example, saving insurance offers a 7% interest rate compounded annually with the agreement that money can only be withdrawn after 21 years. Mr. and Mrs. Bonifacio decided to invest 15,000 pesos for their newly born son, Kael. How much will they have in their account after such time? So let us identify what we have here. We have 7% interest rate. So this is 1, 2, R is 0 0.07. And then we have after 21 years. So our T is 21. And then decided to invest 15,000 pesos. So this is our P. How much will they have in their account after such time? So we are looking for the future value, which is F. Our formula, F is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus R raised to T. Let us substitute our values here, and this will give us 62,108 pesos and 44 centavos. Next example. Grisa won 5,000 pesos in a sing and dance contest. Find the maturity value and the compound interest if she invested it in a bank that offers an interest rate of 3.5% for 3 years. So let's identify what we have here. 5,000, since we are looking for the maturity value and compound interest, then it means that 5,000 here is our principal amount, which is P. And then maturity value is unknown as well as the compound interest. The interest rate is 3.5%, 1, 2, so this is 0 0.035. And 3 years is our time. Let's have our formula for future value. P times the quantity 1 plus R raised to T. Let us substitute our values here. Our principal amount is 5,000. And then quantity 1 plus our rate is 0 0.035 and then raised to our time which is 3. And this will give us 5,543 pesos and 59 centavos. Next, let us compute for the compound interest. The compound interest is equal to the future amount minus the principal amount. So our future value is 5,543.59 minus our principal is 5,000. And this is 543 pesos and 59 centavos. Now, let us talk about present value, P at compound interest. So, let us recall our formula for the future value. And from here, we are going to derive the formula of P. So, we're going to divide both sides by quantity 1 plus R raised to T. So, 1 plus R raised to T will be cancelled out. So, we have P is equal to F divided by 1 plus R raised to T. Now, if we are going to bring this whole expression up, this positive exponent t will become negative. We have the same definitions for p, f, r, and t. Let's have this example. Dan wanted to have a total money of 25,000 pesos in 15 months. How much should he invest if the bank offers 3.75% interest rate compounded annually? How much interest will he earn from this? So let us see. Dan wanted to have a total money of 25,000. So total money is the future value. So 25,000 here is our F. And then 15 months is our time. 
Don't forget to convert this into years, so let us multiply this by 1 over 12. Months and months will be cancelled out. 15 times 1 is 15 divided by 12 is 1.25 years. And then how much should he invest? So we are looking for the principal amount. The bank offers 3.75% interest rate. So 1, 2, our R is 0 0.0375. How much interest will he earn from this? So we are also looking for I sub C. So our formula for P is equal to F times the quantity 1 plus R raised to negative T. Let us substitute our values here, and this will give us 23,875 pesos and 63 centavos. For our I sub C, I sub C is equal to F minus P. So our F is 25,000 and our P is this one. 25,000 minus 23,875.63 is 1,124 pesos and 37 centavos. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. Trisha has 175,000 pesos. So this is our P. Compare the simple and compound interest, so we have to solve for I sub S and I sub C. A bank that offers 5% interest rate, so 1, 2, our R is 0 0.05. 2 years and 9 months, don't forget to convert 9 months into years, so we have 9 over 12, that is 0.75, so 2.75. I hope you still remember the formula for I sub S and that is equal to PRT. So let us substitute our values here and I sub S is equal to 24,062 pesos and 50 centavos. Now to solve for I sub C, let us first compute the future amount. So the future amount is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to T. So let us substitute our values here and this will give us 200,128 pesos and 35 centavos. I sub C then is equal to F minus P. So we have this amount minus 175,000. So I sub C is equal to 25,128 pesos and 35 centavos. Obviously, compound interest will give better returns compared to simple interest. Gets?